Consider the figure shown on the screen. What is the area of the blue shaded region? So we have the segment of or a portion of three circles inscribed inside a triangle. And we're given the radius of those circles, which is four. Using that information, find the area of the shaded region. The area of the shaded region is going to be the difference between the area of the triangle and the area of the three circles or portion of circles. So it's going to be 3 times a sub c. Now what we have is an equilateral triangle. Each side of the triangle is 8. So all sides are the same. To calculate the area of an equilateral triangle, we could use this formula. It's equal to the square root of 3 over 4 times s squared, where s is the length of a side of that equilateral triangle. Now, how can we calculate the area of this portion of the circle? So this is known as a sector of a circle. To calculate the area of a sector of a circle, we could use this formula. The area of a, an entire circle is pi r squared. So the area of just a sector of the, of the circle is going to be theta divided by 360 times pi r squared, where theta over 360 represents a fractional part of the entire circle. So this formula highlighted in red will give us the area of just one sector of a circle. Well, we have three sectors, so we're going to multiply it by three. So this would be a sub c, the area of just one sector of a circle. So it's going to be three times theta over 360 times pi r squared. So at this point, we have everything that we need to get the answer. So we just need to do the work. So we have the square root of three over four times s squared. S is 8, so this is going to be 8 squared, minus 3. Now, what we need to find is the angle. What is the angle of this sector? What is the angle of an equilateral triangle? Now, the three angles of a triangle must always add to 180. Because all three sides are the same, the three angles are equal to each other. So, because they have the same measure, we can call it x. x plus x plus x must equal 180. So that's 3x is equal to 180. Divide on both sides by 3. We got x is equal to 180 over 3, which is 60 degrees. So the angle for each sector is 60. So we're going to replace theta with 60 divided by 360 degrees, and then multiplied by pi times the square of the radius. So the radius of each circle that's inside of the triangle is 4. So this is going to be pi times 4 squared. So the area of the shaded region is going to be the square root of 3 over 4 times 8 squared. 8 times 8 is 64. And then 3 times 60 is 180 and then we have pi times 4 squared 4 times 4 is 16. Now 64 divided by 4 that's 16 so this is 16 square root 3 180 divided by 360 we could cancel a 0 so it becomes 18 over 36. Now 18 over 36 we can reduce that 36 is 18 times 2, and 18 is 18 times 1, so it becomes 1 half. So we have 1 half pi times 16. And half of 16 is 8. So we can write the final answer as 16 times the square root of 3 minus 8 pi. So this is the exact answer. That is the area of the shaded region. Now, if you want to get the decimal value of that, I'm going to give it to you 
in just a second. So let me type this in. So this is equal to 2.58 square units. So that is the area of the shaded region. So that's it for this video. So now you know how to solve this particular problem. Thanks for watching.